Today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at how to play the Countess. We will take a closer look individually speaking at how to position the minis and how to upgrade them to make sure you guys get those W's. Don't forget to subscribe to never miss out on my Galera new Clash mini videos and let's jump into battle. All right, first game is gonna be up against Mr. BK. Now BK is everywhere in the meta. You just can't, you can't go one day without facing the BK. He is absolutely just one of the top tier heroes. He recently got a buff and this is why the Countess is kind of making a comeback because the Countess is going to be the one getting those amazing, amazing kills, amazing backstab. Let's get that Ice Wizard. Let's get that Archer. And she's going to be already getting two kills and maybe a third one. I'm pretty sure she wins here as she is full health. And that is going to be the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be to make sure that Gaunus cooks, the Countess gets those kills. And then you're good to go. That's pretty much that's pretty much what you have to do. We're already having a lot of elixir, 12 elixir. That elixir tau is absolutely beautiful. And today we're gonna be taking, we're gonna be abusing it, and rightfully so. Um mm -mm -mm. what am I gonna do here? I'm going to just I'm pretty sure he's using a wizard. This is a very, very popular, um, this is a very popular BK deck that you're gonna see everywhere. And this deck does amazing. It's just, look at that. The Countess is gonna be backstabbing. <gasps> oh my God. Holy guacamole. That is absolutely beautiful. Those BK players, you're really not gonna have much problem. If you use a proper tank, and you use that e list to make to lock lock down to stun the whole board. I'm not gonna say it's a free win, but you're getting pretty close to it. You're getting played close to it. Um. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so this guy's got the wizard, which is gonna be pretty annoying. Uh, let's go for a an e list. I'm pretty sure maxing out the e whiz is a play that is just going to be gonna be worth it now we didn't play usually i would place the e whiz so that in order to make so that i would give that energy to both the countess and the musketeer but if we take a look at the countess positioning i kind of have to play her on the right i kind of have to play her on the right he's gonna go for a minor dissipate which i'm not particularly a huge fan of but then again you gotta let the countess cook you gotta let the Countess cook, and once you do that, then you should be good to go. I don't think we're gonna get the clean sweep. It's incredibly difficult in Clash Me to get clean sweeps, but we're getting really close to it. We're getting really, really close to it. Um, hmm. I really don't like that miner. I really don't like it at all. Um, I'm gonna go and max out my musky. And right now I'm gonna go for a giant skeleton because I want that wizard to focus the giant skeleton and not the golden giant because when once the wizard shoots on the golden giant first, he's gonna splash onto the countess. I don't want that. I don't want that. And we're gonna go for the beautiful Pekka in the back to intercept the miner and it's just gonna be beautiful. It's just gonna be beautiful to see. Oh, please. Damn, he's gonna really cancel out my uh, my counts is really well played by the opponent, just taking care of business. I don't know if we have an extra troop in hand to soak up that prince charge, but good god. That was really well played by the opponent. Now we still got a three-star E Wiz that's that's kinda cooking. He's kinda cooking. And will he go will he 1v1 the archer? Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't even need to get yeah, round number five because E Wiz, three-star E Wiz. Beautiful. Beautiful game number one here. We've seen it with a just Countess, especially on that special tile. Absolutely incredible. As you guys can see right now, you're gonna be facing a lot of BKs. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip this game because it, this, it's basically the same thing and we're gonna see each other in another matchup. And there we go. <laughs> GG's well played. It's honestly, it's not, it's not that difficult. Going up against BK should just be a piece of cake. All right, we're going up against a Mrs. Countess. 
mirror matchup. Now, what is going to be the key, the key principle in this matchup? Max out the P.E.K.K.A. Max out the P.E.K.K.A. Let's go for a Giant Skeleton. Yeah, Giant Skeleton going to be great. And let the P.E.K.K.A. cook. Let the P.E.K.K.A. cook. Now, fortunately for us, uh, I think we should win this. If I'm correct. Oh, wow. The, the Countess just pulled the craziest move of her career. She dodged the Giant Skeleton Bomb. But it is it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, hmm. Pekka, 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 Pekka. Pekka, my darling. Pekka, my darling. Pekka's gonna be the name of the game if you can max her out as soon as you can. You're in a good spot. You're in a good spot. Round number two, we should bully his Countess here. The Pekka's gonna do 16 damage. It's, it's, it's beautiful. And he should, Giant Skeleton should take care of the Countess. Round number two. We're back in business. Now, now it's time for the big brain plays. The big brain plays is actually just gonna be P.E.K.K.A. Just max out the P.E.K.K.A. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, and you should be good to go. That's all, that's all. It, it's just gonna be simple tips. I'm not gonna be just being like, you gotta think about this. Oh my God, but if you, no. One principle to take away. Per hero, and then you're good to go. And you're good to go. Goes for the two star Pekka up front and personal. This man is a straight up savage. Giant Countess gets bopped. Oof. Wow, wow, wow. That, that, that was disrespectful. I'm sorry, but that was just disrespectful. What's going on, my guy? What's going on? What are you doing? Um, what should we do here in this position? I want you to, I want you to take a guess. What should we do here? We got P.E.K.K.A., E.W.I.Z., and Golden Joint. If you've been paying attention for two seconds, you should know what the answer is. It's to max out the P.E.K.K.A. Max out the P.E.K.K.A. Just max out the P.E.K.K.A. And you're good to go. Oh, Golden G. Okay, okay. This guy's playing. I know this deck because I'm running this deck myself. It's like, yo, what is going on? And his count is... Ooh, Pekka? Ah. One shot, one opportunity. But that's okay. Um... I'm gonna place the gold, them big brain plays here. Big, big brain plays. Why am I placing Golden Giant here? So that my P.E.K.K.A. goes around and focuses his P.E.K.K.A. Uh, like this. Don't know if he's gonna be expecting that. But I think it's a pretty good strategy. I think it's a pretty good strategy. We got a bunch of tools on the board here. This P.E.K.K.A. is gonna focus our Giant Skeleton and that. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Max out the P.E.K.K.A. and then just pull out the wild card, which is Mrs. Musketeer and the E-Wiz. And you're good to go. GG's well played. Let's jump into game number three. I'd like to face, I don't know. Uh, all right, Warden's not bad. Warden is not bad at all. Now I haven't, I don't really have anything any, anything in particular to give you guys against the, 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 the Warden. The only thing I know is that Warden players usually run Ghost Goblin. Ghost Goblin, Valk, and that's annoying. That's where the Giant Skeleton's gonna be coming in. That's where the Giant Skeleton is like, yo, let me pop, let me pop. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna let you do it. I'm gonna let, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Round number one, gonna go in our favor. Um, I'm gonna go for the giant skelly. Ooh, we got triple E was actually. That's not bad. But I think we gotta focus on, on the giant skeleton. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for one. 
not gonna I'm not gonna waste any more elixir. I don't know what you're cooking with, Mr. Mr. Warden. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, now I now now I do. Giant Skeleton's is gonna nuke onto the hole. That's pretty nice. Dar well, Goblin's not gonna get any kills, which is amazing. Which is amazing. Um That's not an easy matchup, right there. That's not an easy matchup, but it kind of is. It kind of is because we got the musky. Because we got the giant skeleton. And because we've got the Ewis. We're gonna go three star giant skeleton. I'm kind of crazy. I'm kind of kind of feeling kind of goofy off. Uh, giant skeleton should pop onto the whole board. Should pop onto everybody here, including your grandma. Yes, please. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough here. I don't think it is. Damn, that Valkyrie really putting in the work with that anti-heal. My god. My god. Um, hmm. I am a little bit concerned about him booping away my giant skeleton. But you know what? I'm kind of scared. I should have maybe gone for the golden giant here. Okay, he's not. He's gonna go for a... Giant Skeleton, I need you to nuke to everybody on the board. Everybody gets 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 a piece of the nuke. Countess, okay. Countess kind of dipping. Nah, this is just too... This is honestly the, diff, the most difficult matchup. The Valkyrie Giant Golden... We can't win them all. We can't win them all. Against Grand Warden Ghost, it's just, it's just GG's well played. It's just, I can't, I can't come to you guys and be like, this deck is undefeatable. It just, it's just not the case. Another BK, GG's well played. I swear to God, I swear to God, please stop with the BK. Please, 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 please. Please don't give me another BK, I swear to God, please. Okay, thank God. Pink Fury, probably one of the worst matchups again because she went past my Countess. Oh, God. Okay. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There's been, I've seen where, I've, look. Meta's not too bad, so let's not complain, please. Let's just not complain. Now, please Pink Fury, do not get too much value. And we should be best friends. There we go. There we go. Pink Fury, the only thing, we just can't feed her too much elixir. And then we're good, but uh, it's not easy. It is not easy to play against the Pink Fury because, well, she won taps, she won taps, she won taps, she won taps. So we gotta put a lot of pressure on the on the on the, on the pink fury, or else we're toasted. We're toasted. Um, mm, 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 double poop. Okay, two star pack of that's interesting. Oh, pink fury actually gets. Don't get too many. Okay, thank God. Ooh, nice, very nice, Countess. Doing a lot of work. The pack is not really doing too much. Not really doing too much. Uh, I'm gonna go for a pack of my own two star. Do I pack or e whiz? Pack them. When in doubt, go pack them. No, I'm just kidding. That don't don't take that principle to heart. It's just against Pink Fury. It's a melee hero. What's a great troop against melee tanks? It's the pack. It's the pack. It's the it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Ooh, he spent a lot of elixir. That means his pink tree is weak AF. We got a big boy pack of them. We got a big boy pack of. Ooh, okay. The big boy pack never disappoints. He never does. He never does. Round number three, clean sweep. What can I say? What can I say? This deck absolutely slaps. Now let's go in depth. 
We're guarding every hero. We're guarding every mini in this deck to see what are the best positioning. We're gonna, of course, start with the beautiful Countess. Now, I like to place her in the back. I like to place her in the back just so that I can shape her path, you know? I can shape her path, I can kind of see where she's going. Because if you play her too f too close up front, you don't really have any control and your opponent can really easily counter her. So you would want to place her in the back and let the Countess cook. Let her get as many kills. And then you, the main, the main synergy is going to be to place her all the way at the back next to an Electro Wizard. This is why I strongly recommend the third upgrade to be the first one you do. You can place him on the left or on the right. It just, if you want to, you, I usually place him at the opposite side of danger. So if my pl opponent places troops on the left, I'll play my Ewas on the right so that he gets those supers. Then I usually, it, it all depends, but usually I'm going for the first one, first ability second, as it just locks the whole board. And the, the second, third, the second ability third. Now this all depends. If, you're, if you want to stun a key troop in particular, I don't know, like a P.E.K.K.A or whatever. You're gonna go for that second ability. And the last of that beautiful tree is gonna be the Musketeer. The Musketeer next to the E-Wiz. If you use that third ability, it basically cancels out a Miner or it, it instantly stuns him. But I would definitely recommend to go for the second ability first. Um, then it all depends, but I would usually go for the, for the least, the quick action as in Frenzy, she's going to be just basically not perma-stunning, perma but just in, booping away and getting five damage every time. So it's going to be really strong, really effective, and then the stun. Um, let's talk about the double tanks. The double tanks that really kind of hold up the Countess and that make sure everybody's targeted on those tanks and the Countess can be like, yo, let me backstab you. First up, the Golden G, the beautiful Golden G. Really, truly, truly a hero that has come back ever since, you know, Bandit's gone out of the meta. In terms of upgrading order, in terms of positioning, you kind of want to play it up front, but not in the first row as you don't want it to get booped by the Prince. Um, the first game I think we did, I placed him in the front because the Countess was, the, the Elixir Tower was in the second row, so I wanted, that was the only really scenario. There's many, many other there's maybe other scenarios where you can place him in front, but I wouldn't recommend it as he can get booped away and your main tech is basically gone. So in terms of the upgrade, I'm, I'm gonna go for the first, first upgrade first, second upgrade second, and I never do go for the third because I just don't think he gets any value, but I think there's better use for your elixir. There's better use for sure. Uh, giant Skeleton. Giant Skeleton is kind of like the... the it's kind of that. It's kind of the guy you send. You send in the front. You send him like, like clear the way, my brother. Clear the way. Uh, in terms of upgrade order, I would go first, maybe second, third. Third is just. It's just for me. It's just you're overcommitting on the giant skeleton. And in terms of positioning, I usually want it to die. Let it die first because that's how it's going to get value. Um, so in place, you can place him up front next to the giant golden giant. It's gonna be up to you. And the last, who did we forget? We forgot about the Mrs. Pekka. It's a Mrs. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Pekka, you know, first upgrade first. You're gonna get that critical damage. She's gonna do a lot. She's gonna do 16. Third upgrade second with uh, a Pekka that's gonna do 24. Or if you're if you know your Pekka is struggling early on in the match with stuns, go for that second ability second. But I wouldn't recommend. I would probably go for the second, third ability second, as it guarantees you more value throughout the round, and then you should be good to go. You should be good to go. So yeah, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching till the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful tutorial on how I believe. Any any good Countess player, what, what are the basic fundamentals when playing the Countess? Because I know you guys are, some of you guys are new players, and even, even old players, it's, it's always good to refresh your memory on this beautiful hero. 
thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for watching till the end and I'll see you guys in another video. Later fellas.